A fight between two brothers left one dead. Monday night, police were dispatched to a southeast Albuquerque apartment complex where officers arrested DeAndre Ravenel after they say he admitted to stabbing his older brother Desmond in the chest. The 20 year old told police his brother Desmond came after him and punched him several times in the face. Detectives say DeAndre's story was inconsistent as he didn't appear to have any injuries to his head or face. Ravenel is charged with an open count of murder. Today, college and childhood friends of Desmond Ravenel were shocked and saddened to find out their friend was murdered. They spoke with News 13's Marissa Lucero. Marissa? Yeah, Jess, he was the jokester of the group, and we spoke with a handful of friends that knew Desmond since he was in middle school. They tell us he was always the one laughing. It's heartbreaking. Unbelievable. I got nothing. It's difficult to stump a group of college students, but today, this group was at a loss for words. Much for it to actually happen, you know, it's really turned my world upside down. Monday night, Desmond Ravenel was rushed to the hospital after police say he was stabbed by his own brother. The 22 year old didn't make it. Today, his college buddies recalled fond memories. Dude was very athletic. <laughs> and he didn't, have to, he didn't have to actually try. He was that natural kind of athlete. A competitor since his Yaffle years, something his childhood friends know well. Always super competitive on the football field. And I mean, whenever I first showed up, I was like, I was like 112 pounds. And this kid was like bigger than most everybody except for French here. <laughs> They say the 22 year old was also a Pike fraternity brother at UNM, a Pikachu nerd, but most of all, the friend they always counted on to make them laugh. And I think does too would want us to like. Get over it. Stop, stop, crying. Stop, stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. <laughs> stop crying and move on. And like, it's good that we all have each other and we're all friends because of Des. And like, that's something that I'm always going to remember. And Ravenel's child friends say the brothers would have typical sibling fights, but were shocked to find out this had taken place. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Marissa. The group is planning a candlelight vigil. A date has yet to be set.